Get off my ship before I throw you off! And I need a new rigging and a serving wench. Too bad for us both. Now get off my deck before I throw you off! Why didn't you say so? You're a deputy of the guard? The same guard whose authority ends where my ship begins? On the dock or in the water, your choice. On your way. And don't bother my sailors. They know I'll turn their hides into sailcloth if I catch them shirking. Won't I'm you take so hungry. Killing the Sylvanar was foolish. The Green Lady and the Sylvanar shared a life bond. She has little time to avenge him before she too will die, and the Green Lady is a most dangerous creature. But then, you have that spring in your stride again. What have you learned? The Maumer planned something, but what? Wait, the apothecary sold Daedra blood in these specific amounts? That would explain the strange liquid upon the... Oh no. Bright moons, no. This is a sample of the vile cloud from around the Sylvanar's body. Bring it to the Green Lady. Tell her it killed her beloved. As for the rest, Harani will see what you found. We must move like Kenarthi herself is at our backs. There's a thing left to pay well. There isn't. This day is long. Killer will share the pain my beloved's death has wrought. Hand down the throat, a kiss for my wrist. Hand on the lungs, a kiss for my arms. Grasp, tear, yank, and one last kiss for the killer's own heart. Now, what have you found? No poison in all of Tamriel could harm my beloved. But this scent was on his body. Why is it out here as well? I can see it leading away into the heart of this wretched city. You're blind to it. Easily remedied. Follow if you can. Hello. Joining the Dominion. 
Covered my tracks. Couldn't have found me. I followed his orders. Daedric poison for the wood elf and his mate. I followed his orders. Ulandil. He said they could stop the tempest. Had to be removed. I've heard enough. His orders. Had to follow his orders. There, there. You did what you had to. As did I. Deputy, I was just informing Headwoman Harani of her apothecary's connections to the High Elves of Somerset Isle. Once the torture begins, we'll learn why the Dominion killed their own diplomat. My what? You mean the apothecary? I assure you, he was never in my employ. Oh, well done. It doesn't matter now. The Green Lummox and her idiot husband lie dead. There's nothing you can do to stop us. You're lying. She must be dead, or else she'd have come for me. She's coming for me, isn't she? I... I'm a duly appointed ambassador of the Maoma people. The grounds of the embassy are sacrosanct, according to our treaty. The tempest is coming. You cannot stop it. This is madness. There has been enough death in this city. This does not excuse a mindless slaughter. We are better than our enemies. You must apprehend him. Don't let the gr I trust you'll do what's best for my people. Your chance for untold prosperity comes with this. Move, unless you don't mind the spatter. I'll keep him alive for a time. He won't starve. His limbs have so much flesh to sustain him. Go tell Harani the Marama is dead. Leave me to my work. Go. This is a private matter. No! God's mercy! Stay back! The gods can't hear you. Scream louder! Where is former Ambassador Ulandil? Another honored enemy we must send to the Temple of the Morning Springs. Too many today. No matter. Before he fled to the Embassy, Ulandil mentioned something about a Tempest. Did he say anything about this before he died? I fear we'll learn soon enough. What a nightmare. I hope all dealings with our Dominion allies won't end this way. I signed a new treaty with Vice-Reeve Peladil moments ago. He assured me the Dominion will defend our little island from any reprisals, Maomor or otherwise. Kenarthi's roost will see much change to come. We must grow together, or we shall die apart. 
Hey, slow pause. You, yes, you. Commander Karanet needs you immediately. The Malmer attacked Katzai Key from the sea. Commander Karanet holds the line at the docks. She needs help stopping the Malmer before they push into Mistral. Zaire will find more to help. Be swift, slow pause. You there. The Marmor attacked Cat's Eye Key with their Sea Viper forces. We need every able body for the rescue effort. Huh. A counterattack? I'd settle for an organized defense. Our forces are scattered too thin. If we can't hold the gates, Mistral will fall to the Marmor. I'll coordinate Dominion forces from here, but I can't lock down this gate until the survivors clear out of the market. Send them my way. We need everyone able to defend Mistral on this side of the wall. Those Malma pirates came from the water. They're all over Cat's Eye Key. Sea vipers happened. One must have struck me on the head. When I woke, a sea viper was carving strange runes on my bodyguard skin. I hit that awful pirate with a broken spar and we ran. No, we can still move. We'll head to Mistral if it's safe there. By the eight, it's inspiring to see Dominion soldiers. Maybe Sergeant Firion can pull off her counterattack. The Marine by the gate to Cat's Eye Key plans to strike back at the sea vipers. I'm sure she can tell you the details. We'll get moving. Gods grant you strength. We can't let those Marama pirates reach Mistral. They'll butcher our families. I saw great serpents emerge from the waters. Those sea viper cowards made them snap at everyone in striking distance. No. When I saw my neighbors fall, I ran. What kind of Khajiit am I? You were with Dominion, yes? Your Sergeant Firian plans to strike back. Give those pirate cowards a taunting. I'll do no such thing. If any of those sea vipers shows a face on this side of the gate, I'll claw it off myself. What are you doing here? That doesn't matter. If you're in the mood to cave in some sea viper skulls, I don't really care. You feel that cold air rushing off the sea? Just like it was before the hurricane. We can't wait to cut off the snake's head. We are the Dominion counterattack. I sent my squad to scout Cat's Eye Key. If they haven't learned with the Sea Viper's plan, we can poke around until we figure out what needs chopping. Don't worry, your wizard friend can seal the gate behind us. I'll hold the gate, if you think you'll have need for a wizard. Or you could bring a Dominion Marine. Up to you. Then let's fillet these fish elf bastards. I swear, no Malma will make it past me.
Hey, squad got separated. Nistel and I found Onglorn. They hurt him bad. Sea vipers carved runes in his chest. I grabbed him. Nistel held them off, hunting sea vipers. If you see her, tell her Onglorn will be all right. You've done your part. Get back to Mistral when you can. Nistel. A ringing head is bad, but when it remains somewhat head-shaped, <laughs> that is good, yes? I was in the caves, working, when I heard a strange howling. Then warriors came out of nowhere and struck without mercy. Our deaths, I suppose? After they killed enough of us. They left the rest of us alone. They knew we wouldn't fight back. They only paid attention to those totems. Well, until they collapsed the cavern entrance. Some high elf wizard tried to get in, so they collapsed it. I dove outside. Lucky me. The wizard tried to tell me something, but I couldn't hear him at all. He stuffed this paper in my hands and walked off. Here, maybe you can make sense of it. Uh, what's that? My ears were ringing. Would you mind repeating the obvious? Wait, wait, don't think me ungrateful. The wizard was looking for another way into the caves. I heard rumors of a secret door by the cliffs, but I never saw it myself. Totems seem to harness a combination of wind and spirit. I wonder if I can... Excuse me. Do you mind? Indeed. I suppose that's optimal. These sea viper rituals are barbaric, but quite effective. The hurricane they summoned to dash our fleet against Kanathi's roost? That's nothing compared to their current efforts. You clearly haven't studied the fundamentals of blood sacrifice. You see, these serpent-shaped statues, they're storm totems. They collect spirit energies from rune-marked subjects and channel it, like water through a funnel. Exactly the right question. It seems the sea vipers use a specialized lodestone to block the channel. Approach an active storm totem, hold forth the lodestone, and harmlessly siphon the energy away. You should see for yourself. Completely. 
Go ahead, don't be shy. Uh, it's not as though the Storm Totem's energies will cascade throughout your body until you're nothing but a lifeless, smoking husk. <laughs> but do avoid standing in the puddles, would you? Phenomenal. I knew proximity was the key. And look at you. Not even a hint of electrocution. You have the principle. Now to apply it to the other storm totems before... Well, best not to worry you about that. Uh, no, I really shouldn't worry you. I can't say for certain. It's one of two things, neither of which is good for anyone on this island. You don't stoop to blood sacrifice unless you need a lot of energy very quickly. And, well, to release it just as quickly. Listen. You handle the storm totems. I'll determine how to best counteract the sea viper blood ritual without destroying Mistral. Does that seem equitable? The only certainty is the lack of time. You should hurry. Speaking directly to your mind. Find my psychic projection near the tunnel exit. I know how to stop the Marma. I know what they're planning. Through my psychic projection, I observed an old ritual site north of Mistral. The Sea Vipers summoned a powerful creature known as a Storm Atronach. They're funneling all that energy into their bounds.